Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna make a video on active noise cancelling. Enjoy! Let's jump right into the experiment. As you can see, we have here a DC power supply unit. Uh, then we have uh, two speakers that uh, uh, we're going to use to reproduce a sound wave of uh, known frequency. Then we have uh, an audio board that is connected via Bluetooth to our phone. And most importantly, at a distance of uh, roughly about uh, 1, 1 1.5 meters, we have uh, a sound level meter that uh, is going to tell us the amplitude of the resulting wave in uh, dBs. We're going to use uh, an application on our phone, uh, which is Firefox to generate a wave sound of a thousand hertz In the first stage we will have only one speaker this one that is connected with the right polarities to our audio board and we will see what it is displayed on our sound lever meter then, in a second stage, we're going to connect also our second speaker to our audio board, but in this case with reversed polarities. And, as we did before, we're going to see what it is displayed on our sound level meter. Let's go! Now the camera will record our display and in the meanwhile I will connect and disconnect the second speaker while the, the first one is uh, always connected. As you have seen in the clip before, when we connect the second speaker with inverted polarities, uh, we see that uh, the level of dB on our display drops. And this is not trivial, because if uh, uh, with uh, one, uh, only one speaker we have a certain level of dB, we can imagine that uh, connecting also a second speaker, uh, the level of dB should increase. But in this case, we achieve a drop of the level of dBs. And this is due to the uh, destructive interference between our two sound waves. A key point of this experiment is that we have to connect our second speaker with inverted polarities. In this way we can create a, a phase difference of 180 degrees between our two sine waves. And in this case the resulting wave will be really attenuated. Here is a short video that shows how active noise cancelling headphones work. And I should also mention that this type of active noise cancelling works best with low frequencies and has some trouble to eliminate the high ones. We're going to do now uh, another experiment that is uh, related in some way to the one we did before. And uh, in this case we're going to use uh, uh, more or less the same setup. We have both of the two speakers that are connected to the audio board with uh, uh, the correct polarities. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, grab our sound level meter and we're going to explore our region going from here to here. And we're going to see what uh, it is displayed on our uh, sound level meter. And what we expect uh, in this case is uh, uh, an interference pattern due to the interference of uh, the two waves uh, reproduced by the two speakers.
Okay, okay, hold on for one second. I'm Luca from the future and uh, at this moment I had to say goodbye to everyone but the cameraman decided that it, it was time to sign off. And so goodbye folks, see you in the next experiment. Enjoy.